Alright guys, KE here, and since you guys have been asking a lot, um, everybody seems to want to know what we use for troll paint, so I've decided to do a tutorial for you guys to show you how, what we use, how we mix it, and how I personally apply it, seal it, and then how to take it off. So I'm going to start with running over my supplies with you guys. Um, we use Maron brand. Um, that's probably going to come up mirrored in the camera, but that's M-E-H-R-O-N. It can be ordered online. We use their color cups. It is a grease paint, oil-based, um, skin-safe theatrical face paint. And we use the solid white and black mixture. So this one's been used a little bit for Gamzee, obviously. Um, and it's kind of a thick substance. Like, I'm not sure what to compare it to. Um, these little cups, the lid comes off and it's the same stuff in them. Um, other things you're going to need before I get into how to mix that are some sort of applicator unless you want to use your fingertips that gets messy but I use my fingertips around my eyes and stuff anyway. Um, for broad areas I use a big sponge like this. The Maron also sells these. Or you can use those little makeup squares or any sponge type applicator. Um, you're going to want some sort of powder poo for even a ball of toilet paper or paper towels can work. That's for your sealant. Um, some kind of dark or black for your eyebrows, contouring, anything like that. Like eyeshadow. Any eyeshadow will work. And a brush to apply that. You're going to want a any kind of dusting brush to dust off your sealant powder when you're done. Baby powder, I recommend not buying the Maron brand sealant powder because it's actually just talcum powder, which is the same stuff that's in this dollar store things. And the same with their remover, which is just baby oil. And then I also recommend having like a black mascara because the gray tends to wash out your eyelashes and eyebrows. Also, paper towels and a washcloth that you don't mind getting gray on. So before you get started, wash any makeup that you have already had on your face off and um, make sure you start with a clean slate. You're going to want to take, you're going to want to already have your crust shirt on, binder and everything if you're wearing a binder. Get it all on because if you try to pull it over your painted face, it's going to get all over and get real messy. So take a towel or something like that tuck it into the collar of your shirt that you're going to be wearing for the character to prevent getting grease paint and baby powder on your shirt. And now we're going to go ahead and mix up color. Long sleeve characters. Roll this up beforehand. Helps a lot because if you dip that in grease paint you're not going to be very happy camper. Um, Alright, mixing gray. I get a third tub or some sort of other surface to mix on. As you can see, I've used this one before. And um, you're going to take your solid white, the back of your um, brush helps. Scoop up big old, you use a lot of white and very, very little black. So maybe a big old glob like that. Put it into whatever you're using to mix. And yeah, it's going to be all over the place on the back of this. This is where the paper towels come in. To keep from getting white in your black paint and black in your white paint, just wipe off the back of your brush in between scooping that out of there. Black paint. Get you a little bitty scoop to start out with. Not much at all. Might be like just a tiny bit for all that white. And you're just going to literally stir it. It'll be real thick at first. 
and then you're going to, but you can kind of see, just stir it, mix it together. Then you kind of look at your color, you go, oh, is that too light, too dark? You can kind of test a little bit of it on the back of your hand and go, oh, that looks awfully more like Kanaya than Karkat, it's too light. So then, wipe your brush off again, get you another itty bitty scoop of black, keep mixing. Remember that just a tiny bit darker than what looks great on your eyes is going to look great on camera. So more photos, a little bit darker. More just playing around with friends, a little bit lighter. But it's all really up to your preference, your headcanon for what troll gray technically is. I do not recommend using the Maron brand premixed grays because they don't show up on camera too well or are a little too dark or a little too green. They have like a monster gray, which is very dark, and a zombie gray, which is kind of greenish. Whereas if you mix their um, two black and white together, you get this nice little lovely, I'm not sure how bright of a gray that's looking on camera, but that's the color that we use. So, got your gray all mixed up. We are ready to apply. This is where you can either apply with your fingertips or with a sponge. Um, I'll show you fingertips first for more sensitive areas. Make sure you test this stuff on your skin a little bit before you apply it all over your face in case you have some kind of allergic reaction because that would be terrible to have all over your face. And here you kind of literally paint yourself. It just smudges on right over your skin. Tapping, patting with either your fingers or you can apply it with a sponge. You just get a copious amount on your sponge. You can smear. That'll leave streaks and lines, but it'll cover quickly. And what I do is I'll smear it on. Make sure it covers the area, and I do this with my arms too. Smear it on and then tap it for texture to make sure you're without, you know, these big streaks. In that same way, so you just dip it. Watch out for patchiness. You can see it kind of showing skin through there. And just go over the area again. You can go directly on your lips. It doesn't taste great, but it's not toxic. So if you get some on your lips, it's not gonna kill you. I normally make sure I paint all the way to the edge of my wig cap. I've got a wig cap just for doing trolls because it's got gray on it. All the way to your wig cap. It will wash out of your hair. It's a little difficult to, but if you're like me and you've got these crazy sideburn things and you get a little bit of it in them, it will wash out. takes a little dedication to paint all the way inside the ears because that also is going to be very difficult to wash off. But it can be done. Eyes. When you're doing your eyes, I recommend using fingertips in the gray. And you just literally 
spread it over your eyes. Rough sponges can be kind of painful. Make sure that you close one eye, cover your lid, you can see how you're doing. Open it and do underneath it. Try not to get any in your eye, like I just did. It's a little painful. It won't hurt your eyes, injure them wise, but it doesn't feel great. I do a lot of patting it on because that really helps even the texture out. Once you've done your whole face, then move on to doing your chin and neck. You're going to want to tilt your head way up so that you can see if you've got it all the way underneath your neck. Because this is an area that's very easily forgotten, very easily missed. Okay, now I am going down a little past my collar line because that way I don't get, you know, skin tone showing when, you know, you move and your collar dips down a little bit and whatnot. Even though I'm in a turtleneck that's going to come up to about here, I go ahead and gray down here. That's why I have this so I don't get it all over my shirt. Make sure you got everything covered. You are 100% gray. Once you are satisfied with all of your gray, you're gonna take, you might wanna wipe your fingertips off. When this stuff isn't set, it wipes off pretty well, which also means it smears on everything. So now, we're going to seal our powder, our makeup. This is where your powder poof and baby powder come in. So I like to use a little bit excessive baby powder. Um, it can get everywhere. Not gonna do it now, my recommendation though, is to actually do the baby powder over your bathtub or shower so you can just rinse it all down the drain when you're done. Because um, it flies up and it gets everywhere, but the more you use, the better sealed you'll be, and you can't really use too much. So you do this, hold your breath, and apply it like this pretty liberally to your painted area you'll be able to feel that you're no longer tacky where you just powdered. You want to keep adding more baby powder and just go one section at a time. So like I just did my forehead. Now I'm going to do the side of my face. If you get baby powder on your clothes, don't immediately go to brush it off with your hand because the chances are you've got troll paint. So get a paper towel or a towel and use that completely clean one to dust yourself off. 
comes right off. Definitely try not to get the baby powder in your eyes. So you're going to close your eyes and kind of go by feel. This is probably the toughest part aside from taking it off. You can tell where you need to powder next because you'll still be tacky. Still be a little sticky feeling. Again, don't forget your neck, especially if it's going to be rubbing up against your shirt. I am very powdery. I'll brush some excess off on my shirt over here. As you can see, I've got powder dust everywhere. Oops. That's why we have this. Now, once you've completely put baby powder everywhere, you use this little brush, and it won't smear your paint anymore because your paint is set. You'll just brush off all the extra powder. Something soft and thick and you occasionally can take it dusted out and then start again. And you do that till you don't see any more powder on the surface of your skin. Back and forth, up and down, or in circles, or all three. Whatever it takes to get all that extra powder off. As you can see, I am now gray. I'm also pretty much touchable. You'll get a little bit of baby powder transfer for a while. Um, once that's been set for an hour or so, you won't get much of that either. So, gray, touchable, not gonna smear. No. Next steps are optional, but recommended. Um, contouring and fixing your lashes. Because if you can see there, my lashes are now gray. And it makes my eyes look kind of strange. My eyebrows are now gray, which also makes my face look kind of strange. So this is where you get a black 
eyeshadow. It doesn't have to be a powder shadow. It can be literally any black eyeshadow without glitter in it. Take a little bit on your brush. Make sure you don't get a whole lot. Make sure it's going on nice and light. And then go right over your eyebrow hairs with it. Wherever your natural eyebrow hairs are is a great place to start. If you are doing contouring to look more masculine or to do a specific eyebrow type, now is the time to do it. Just, I highly recommend painting your eyebrows back in because the gray does tend to wash them out. Eyebrows. All right, and we are, I'm being car cat today. So for Car Cat, I am actually going to give myself a little bit of his under the eye, dark circles, looking a little tired, with that same any kind of eyeshadow works. Definitely use this time to do any contouring you're planning on doing. So, I'm tired like our cat. Look at that. Poor tired baby. A lot of people also headcanon that trolls have darker lips than they do skin. Um, it's canon that trolls have black lips, but you can't see it on every troll. You can only really see it on the girls in Aridin. Um, but you can either use eyeshadow powder that'll rub off after a while or when you're actually doing your gray paint before you apply your sealer do your lips the color you want them to be seal it with the rest of your paint and it'll stay the same way that the gray will stay um, I do this for Kanaya lipstick and Aridin lipstick I do my lips solid black and then I seal it with the rest of my paint so now the only thing that looks kind of funny is my eyelashes, which is why I said to bring a black mascara. Don't do so much that you look like you get lady lashes, but just do enough to wipe the gray off of them. Darken them up a little bit. Brings your eyes kind of back to normal. Um, Pretty much, that is it. We are fully gray, fully sealed. Watch your fingers. Did you see what I just did there? Black on my hands means black on my face. Luckily, troll paint's pretty forgiving. And if you do get something on you, you can get a little bit of your gray paint on a clean finger and you can just touch up where you need to touch up tap it back into place bring a little tiny bit of baby powder and if you're doing touch-ups, you can use your sealing brush, your brush away brush, and you can just add the powder, brush it away, touch-up complete. So if you have any major mess-ups or something comes along and just... Alrighty guys, here is my hand, gray. And I have painted it and sealed it the same way I just did my face. I just did this back part so that I can show you how to take this crap off because it's a little difficult. You're going to want for removal hey, you're going to want any kind of baby oil. So you're also going to want some I recommend toilet tissue 
because it's available in every hotel room everywhere and it's great for just spreading this stuff on. And then dishwashing soap, any kind. If you're doing body troll paint, then your shower soap will work just fine and you can do this in the shower. But if you're just taking it off of your hands, maybe your face, unless your face is sensitive and you need face wash, dish soap actually cuts through it a lot faster. So open up your baby oil and put a very generous amount onto your toilet paper. Be careful, this stuff gets everywhere. Once you've spilled baby oil, everything is oily forever. So keep your lid on your bottle. Keep your bottle out of the way. Be careful what you touch with it. Careful what you touch with the oil. Now the oil is not gonna take it off, but you're gonna spread it over everywhere that's gray and it's gonna loosen it up and basically unseal it. So you see it's taking a little of it off, but it's still gray. So make sure everywhere that you put gray paint is wiped with oil. Once everywhere where there's gray is oily, then you take your soap and a little water and you rub your soap in. Wash your hands like completely normal. Same applies for shower soap and your skin. Wash them up good, get it another, like as if you were trying to wash off the oil paint, the, or the baby oil. And then it will come right off. And now you are clean. Sometimes if you've put it on pretty thick or your soap isn't that great, it takes a couple tries. It takes a little bit to get it out of all the cracks and crevices. But um, this stuff is the same stuff that they will try and sell you in an itty little bottle for a lot of money. So definitely invest in some baby oil, baby powder, and you'll have yourself a good troll paint in time. All right, that's it. We're good. Um, I hope that helps you all. Check the description below for a list of supplies I used and um, other information to help you out with your troll painting. All right, catch you guys next time.